This video is not meant to offend or to slight any of the families of the Sandy Hook school shooting. In fact, my thoughts and my prayers are still with you as you go through this very arduous grieving process. Hello Internet, my name is David and this is The Pursuit Blog and it has been a week now since the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting where so many children and teachers were cut down in a senseless act of violence. There's been some questions that I have had coming out of that because when I first heard about the school shooting, I was sickened that this was happening. And then I found out that the shooter, Adam Lanza, had killed himself. And I have to be honest, I was glad. I was glad that this guy had died. You know, I felt like justice had been served. But coming out of that and processing this in the past week, I've had to ask myself some ethical questions and I want to pose those to you to have you consider them. Perhaps you've never considered them. But I call myself pro-life, and being pro-life, can I ever be glad when someone takes their own life? On principle, can I ever be glad when somebody kills themselves? Am I really pro-life if that is the case? But I was glad because I thought justice had been done. But can justice really be served when somebody takes their own life? Is that justice? Would justice have been capturing this person, bringing them to trial, and then allowing these parents to get answers for questions that they will, will carry the rest of their lives and never know the answer to? Has justice really been served with the fact that this guy took his own life before ever going into uh, police custody? Then there's the flip side. Had this man been brought into custody, there would be a media circus beyond what already exists. This shooter would be elevated to a, a different status in, in the media and in pop culture. Is that justice? And let's face it, our justice system is our justice system. He probably would have gotten uh, an insanity plea or deemed not fit to be able to stand trial. So uh, society's sense of justice and what needs to happen would not have happened. Yeah, he probably would have been locked up for the rest of his life, but in a mental institution. And uh, not saying that that is a bad thing, but children have been murdered. Society would have demanded for something harsher. So is it good that he died? Or is it not? I don't know. I, I waffle back and forth because in some aspects, I think that uh, it created a lot less problems for everyone. Um, and gave some amount of closure. But on the other side, there's so many questions that never got answered, so many parents who will never get to look the person in the eye who killed their children or their loved one and just ask why. And the ending of a life is always ending of a life. Life does have some value, so uh, there's just a lot of very tough questions to wrestle through as we process this tragedy that really is a national tragedy. At the end of the day, it was a very troubled young man who did a horrific act of violence and killed so many innocent children who never deserved it. What do you do with that? So I ask you to take some time to think about this before you answer. But do you think it was good that this man, Adam Lanza, took his own life? Or would it have been better for him to go through the justice system and be prosecuted? I think it's very easy to just say, yes, he's dead, I'm glad, I'm happy, it's over. It's much harder to ask the question. That may be the answer, but it's much more difficult to ask that question and process that. Because at the end of the day, he was human too. Again, my thoughts and prayers go out to these families. I have laid in bed at night often this week and just thought about what it would be like to be one of those parents. I have two stepdaughters and I cannot imagine losing either one of them, especially like this. Leave your thoughts in a comment down below. I hope you have a better day. God bless.